Today we are going to talk about Ludwig van Beethoven. Before the start of his career, Beethoven's music teacher once said of him, as a composer he is hopeless. And during his career he became deaf, yet he managed to produce great music. A German composer of classical music, he is widely famous and considered to be one of supreme composers who played a crucial role in the transition of classical to romantic music. Beethoven came from a medium-high class family in Germany, but even though he is from a family with such nice conditions and status, his life was sort of troublesome. He was born in 1717 in Bonn, Germany. He spent his childhood living with his parents and his two younger brothers, but the problem was that his parents always fought over his father's serious drinking problems. The drinking problems of Beethoven's father were so serious that sometimes he had to steal some of his father's salary to prevent him spending all of it in alcohol. In 1781, at the age of 10, Beethoven withdrew from school to study music full-time with Christian Gottlob Neef, the newly appointed court organist. Neef introduced Beethoven to Bach and at the age of 12 Beethoven published his first composition, a set of piano variations on a theme by an obscure classical composer named Dressler. By 1784, his alcoholism worsening and his voice decaying, Beethoven's father was no longer able to support his family, and Ludwig van Beethoven formally requested an official appointment as assistant court organist. Despite his youth, his request was accepted and Beethoven was put on the court's payroll with a modest annual salary of 115 florins. In an effort to facilitate his musical development, in 1787 the court decided to send Beethoven to Vienna, Europe's capital of culture and music, where he hoped to study with Mozart. When the Holy Roman Emperor Joseph II died in 1790, a 19-year-old Beethoven received the immense honor of composing a musical memorial in his honor. Beethoven revealed in a heart-wrenching 1801 letter to his friend Franz Wegeler, I must confess that I lead a miserable life. For almost two years I have ceased to attend any social functions just because I find it impossible to say to people, I am deaf. If I had any other profession, I might be able to cope with my infirmity, but in my profession it is a terrible handicap. At times, driven to extremes of melancholy by his affliction, Beethoven described his despair in a long and poignant note that he concealed his entire life. Sometimes later, Beethoven was completely deaf. His depression came to its climax, and he even considered suicide. However, his love for music and his friends helped him to overcome it, and then the started the most productive period of his life. From 1803 to 1812, what is known as his middle or heroic period, he composed an opera, six symphonies, four solo concerti, five string quartets, six string sonatas, seven piano sonatas, five sets of piano variations, four overtures, four trios, two sextets, and 72 songs. Despite his extraordinary output of beautiful music, Beethoven was lonely and frequently miserable throughout his adult life. For a variety of reasons that included his crippling shyness and unfortunate physical appearance, Beethoven never married or had children. He was, however, desperately in love with a married woman named Antoine Brentano. Beethoven died on 26 March 1827 at the age of 56. An autopsy revealed that the immediate cause of death was post-hepatetic cirrhosis of the liver. The fact that Beethoven composed his most beautiful and extraordinary music while deaf is an almost superhuman feat of creative genius, perhaps only paralleled in the history of artistic achievements by John Milton writing Paradise Lost while blind. To conclude this chapter in history, we will have the usual quote of the day to inspire just as much as it inspired Beethoven in his career. <laughs>